Hello, Mariana. Hi. Thank you for joining. I was getting lonely. Hi. Yes, I'm not in Webhead Studio, so I wanted to join you and say hello at least. Thank you. I'm. Yes. Uh, so, how are you? Welcome to Bo 2012. I want to <laughs> greet you a welcome live. <laughs> Always, always a pleasure to tune into each uh, group of BA. How are things going for week one? In week one, uh, we had a live session at Tapped In with BJ Berquist, a very excellent uh, uh, presenter. Uh, it's uh, only a um, chat, as you know, uh, a chat uh, room. And I think the, there were more than 30 participants with um, several of moderators also there and people were those who were attending were very excited about everything it's most of them were newbies and they really loved the uh, area and everything people have been leaving comments on our wiki uh, comment session uh, uh, where we have it and uh, i think um, there are some questions they would really like to explore it even more so probably we will be available during um, uh, these few Sundays uh, during the course of uh, both 2012 and help them around or at least Jeff is there also Jeff Cooper and mm. BJ so I think they will get around and maybe create their own offices and uh, maybe have fun later with their students or, or whatever but people are exploring doing introducing themselves sharing their uh, photos and and I, it was very interesting, even though I wasn't moderating week one, but uh, I, I'm on my vacation still, even though school starts tomorrow. So I had some fun also reading the introductions. It's, it's great, people all over the world. And there are some new countries presented for the first time. I should really have prepared for this to tell you, so I will not mention them, but I'm very, very happy that there are so many people from Croatia this year, six, I think, and last year were only me and uh, two more two more colleagues who even joined us this year, and it's very great to have people from um, who come and join as you uh, after so many years. Uh, some of, One of my colleagues from Croatia, this was her second time, one of the, uh, her is fourth time, so... Uh, it's great because, as you say, we always introduce something, uh, something new. We try to explore and uh, do everything what we can. Yeah, and that's great that you're getting more people from Croatia. You know, I've I've always been uh, <laughs> discouraged by how few people in Korea are involved, and we have an active, you know, TESOL organization here, CoTESOL. So I've been trying to uh, uh -huh. get the word out, but so far, Croatia is way ahead of Korea. Uh, 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 yes, it's a very small country, and I was attending one of the webinars for Croatian uh, teachers of inf uh, IT uh, because it, they were streaming it online. Uh, I could not go to a city where they had it face-to-face, uh, -face, of course. Uh, but I loved uh, when one of the colleagues said that there are 1.4 million uh, people, even though the country is only 4.5 million people, and 1.4 million people, including probably most of the students in Croatia, are on Facebook. But they don't probably uh, use it so uh, mostly for uh, for educating or whatever but the, um, I don't know so Croatia is like a, a very very small country and uh, having internet connections um, been brought to us for the past I would say five years maybe even though there were more but I for instance couldn't have an ADSL here until, until four years ago we only had dial-up connection and now it's very funny when I remember those <laughs> dial-up connections and everything it always um, it always makes you laugh how long it takes you until you uh, log uh, into the internet or maybe you will never make it or because there are so many people online but now th there have been lots of lots of um, uh, I s I probably financing and uh, we have a great cr creation uh, uh, internet media carnet it's called carnet um, uh, network th and they really provide a uh, good good things here as well yeah i was amazed we, i did another webcast this week for uh, the change 11 mooc and uh, one of the participants was in the united states but um uh is on dial up still and yes, was unable really. to join the hangout you know a lot of the rural um uh residents still don't have very good internet connections uh, i see dillian is in the hangout yes Hello. I, I only see Catherine. <laughs> well, I see him in the chat here. Uh, and also, Catherine is getting uh -huh. echo. And what I should have explained when you joined in, Catherine, you're probably still listening to the video stream. Uh, 
So if you go back to the webheadsinaction.org page, stop the video, and then you'll get just the one stream of audio, which is us here in the Hangout. And Dillian, if you can say hello, please do. And, and Catherine, if you're having problems speaking, and I haven't heard anything from you at all, um, you might want to play with your settings. Um, and that would be in the very upper right portion of your um, Hangout window. In the very upper right, you see a little gear, a little circle. If you click that, you'll be able to uh, select a different audio input. Uh, what is the connection uh, speed in Korea? For Amazing. Instance? My yes, download yeah. speed is about 40 megabytes per second and my upload speed is about 60 yeah. megabytes. Yes, and I thought we had a very fast internet here in Croatia. I think my husband told me last night that it's about 500 kilobytes per second but that's uh, if I understood him well uh, I think it is uh, so uh, at least it's uh, good enough it was like two 200 kilobytes before so I don't know uh, that's why probably I cannot stream my video because of the slow connections or something I, I don't know but uh, I can successfully do it over Skype and um, we have been even chatting and talking with participants because they have been st already started to explore uh, Vic2 uh, tools and they have been adding and downloading Skype and Yahoo Messenger and um, they have started adding us as uh, moderators so our week one mod Maria Bosa from Argentina had some excellent chats with them and they were so excited and um, it's very nice to meet people all, all around the world. <laughs> um, so are you able to do a video chat in Skype? Yes, no problem, hmm. no problem. Uh, I, um, when I'm one-on-one, uh, on one, um, I have never tried it when there are several of us here. Um, yeah, uh, Dylan says that she is also in Bo 2012. Uh, she says it's a great experience and ask me where am I from. Um, no, uh, Dylan, I'm from Croatia and I was just uh, talking to Jeff and explaining why I cannot probably stream my camera uh, because of the slow connections. Even though 500 kilobytes is a lot here in Croatia for now, I hope they will uh, do it even more. Um, but um, I, yes, we can see each other. Kat, uh, um, uh, I'm, I see Jeff and I suppose he can see me. No, I'm curious. Uh, I see that they... Uh, uh, actually, not now. <laughs> I... Oh, Kala. Yes. Yes. Oh, finally, one of the webheads came. <laughs> a veteran webhead. You know, um, uh, Mariana, I just noticed they've added a setting in Google Hangouts. If you click your settings, yes. there's now an option for fast connection or slow connection. Uh, it's my, mine is in Croatian. I'm just trying to find it out. It's uh, like. Uh, um, uh, Hello. Hello. Hi, Hala. Hala. Hi, uh, I. Uh, Hala, have you checked your mic? It's on? Um, Good luck, Catherine. Keep trying. Um, maybe, and maybe I would suggest uh, leave the Google Hangout and then come again, maybe. Or try another, I don't know, maybe Jeff is better here than I am. Uh, maybe try another browser, I don't know. I, I, I doubt that's it. I, I think it's probably yes. the audio setting um, in the Hangout. And this is what I would uh, think you might want to check also, Mariana. Do you know mm -hmm. how to get to your Google Hangout settings? Uh, I'm uh, in the Google Hangouts and I'm clicking on the uh, settings, yes. And I have, it's in creation, but no problem. And, and it says fast and slow connections. Which yes. I would choose slow connection. You're, okay, so I'm going to choose that one now. And 
Yes, I have chosen slow connection. And then try your video again and see if that makes any difference. Okay. Okay. Wait. Uh, it says uh, that slow connections um, uh, for internet uh, video video uh, f only only shows for the permanent uh, presenter. So if I choose this, I will only see the per person who is speaking. No, uh, no, how many of you in the in the Google Hangout? If I if I think so, let, uh, I'll see. I'm going to check. This I've chosen that. At least we I see your picture now. Save it. Oh. Hey. Hey, is that hey, Catherine? Hala. Or Hala? Petra? <laughs> Who's, who just said hey? Hala? <laughs> Hala is laughing. It's Hala, I suppose. <laughs> Don't laugh at us, Hala, please. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think uh, Dylan told me now that she cannot hear us, and I'm wondering why. You know, maybe. Um, can you hear us, or you can't activate your microphone? I can. Hala can hear, and I think we hear you also, Hala. Would you like to say hello? We hear kids in the background. Yes. <laughs> I always love that about the web heads. It's like all the different okay, backgrounds. Hello. 101. That's excellent. You have broke the record. Not, not only 100 anymore. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Um, Hala, what you might need to do is adjust your Hangout settings, and there should be a little option uh, in the very top right next to Exit. There should be a little gear or circle, and if you click that, oh, all right, you can, oh, well, Mike will mute it or not, and then if you click on the little circle, uh, you should have an option to choose a different audio input. Uh, I'm in my uh, settings as well, and whenever I choose slow connections, I cannot save it, and then I cannot come back to the uh, Google Hangout. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yep, still hear you loud and clear. Um, so you choose slow connection, but it doesn't stick? Uh, no, it doesn't stick. It shows. I cannot uh, save changes at all. It doesn't show me anymore the, that button. And then when I choose a fast connection, then it shows me again the, the change. Hello? One, two, three, one, yes. two, three. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> if you were Hi, can you hear me? I'm yeah. Catherine. Oh, hello, Catherine. Hello, hello, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. I made it. <laughs> Yay. Bravo. <laughs> I even got dressed, so I might put the camera on in a minute. Oh, excellent. Although pajamas are fine. Webheads have pajama parties all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's time to get up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So you are in uh, uh, GMT plus one, Catherine? Yeah, that's right. I'm in France. Yes. Very good. I'm in Croatia, and I'm just making <laughs> lunch. And, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, I so I'm just listening in for the moment. No, you say, speak, where are you, how, uh, Ketan? Where, where, which EVO session are you attending? I'm doing the, the web heads and the, um, I can't remember what I'm doing now. The class digitals. Uh, ah, class d digital tools. Uh, that's in Edmodo, isn't it? Yes. Yes, they have sessions. I have never tried Edmodo so far, but some people, uh, I have seen several webinars about that. I hope you yeah. have an excellent time because there are so many great uh, educators there. And uh, Carla Arena, one of the mentors for EVO sessions, is also moderating, I think, uh, Class Digital Tools. Is that right? 
That's right. Yeah, she's brilliant. She's always there helping us yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like it's not easy. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, Edinburgh is not easy to get to to know quickly. You know, that's the problem with the first weeks for, for everything. Uh huh. So many things to zap around on, uh -huh. but it's great. So you are in week one. You only had to like introduce yourself and get around it, Modo. Yeah, that's right. And uh, set up um, different sorts of introductions. You know, with uh, uh -huh. videos or poems or you know photos or something like that. Something different. So there's lots of lots of new links coming in. Uh, lo a lot of ideas. Yes, uh, we yeah, we don't great. usually start very in Bo 2012. We don't usually start uh, the, the intros um, uh, so so fast. I I hope we we don't scare the the newbies. I think as a newbie, <laughs> I would be scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, no, it um, is it is pretty. But you get used to it. It takes a week to get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been tuning into the those. digital tools session, and I've been amazed at how much content has been produced. People have yeah. done yes. really great work with their introduction yeah. stuff. And Edmodo, I, you know, I had been aware of Edmodo, but it's the first time I've really used it. And I can see it being really good for a kind of like a, a, a class social network. I, I wish yeah. it was a little bit more open. Like, as it is now, only the moderators can choose whether a post becomes public or not. Um, and that's yeah. one thing on webheadsinaction.org, I'm trying to aggregate Mike, as Mike, much. Mike. Oh. We, we hear you, Hala. Hi, Hala. Yeah, she's gone now. No, Hala, you can speak because we, uh, it's like democratic. Everybody can join and we, uh, uh, it's not like in Illuminate when you grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so feel free to jump in, anyone. Um, yeah, I would. I I wish stuff was more open a little bit. Like even the um, becoming a webhead Yahoo group is closed, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we can't yeah. aggregate that content. And I mean, I understand. Right. I guess in some situations, people want that closed environment. But I'm all about the the open stream. Open streaming. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a bit complicated, Edmundo. There's lots of things going on on the page, and yeah, things are mixed up, so it's very difficult to find who's So where do you women. share, uh, sorry, Catherine, uh, I just want to ask yeah. you, where do you share your uh, pr productions? Uh, on Edmundo, or you, you have a wiki page where you post, or anything else, or you just um, share it? No, on Ed, uh, Edmundo, we put most things on, and then we've all had to start up our own blogs and, uh -huh, and things, okay. so we're now sharing yeah. on different spaces. Uh -huh. So which one do you use? Do you use posters or something else? Um, no, I, I've opened up on Wikispace. Oh, great. So I'm trying great, that great. one out for the moment. Do you have a link to your, I mean, uh, your introduction Can you share space? us a link in the chat? Oh, dear. <laughs> chat it's is not up. very exciting. It's, it's show it's and tell. It's not very exciting. <laughs> it's only first week, don't worry. <laughs> But some of have the people have put on some amazing things, you know, really professional films and introductions to themselves. It's fantastic. Mine is nothing uh, compared to uh, uh, I have created my first Animoto for EVO moderators when we had uh, this before EVO started. And it only lasts yeah. for 30 seconds, but I had fun. And Carlos suggested that, actually. Then after that, yeah. I found out that for educators, we can uh, even have it um, that can uh, the video on Animoto can last even more. Uh, so longer, yeah, I just, exactly. Yeah, longer. And now I have created two or three more. One. Uh, um, I have even added videos, but I still don't know how to convert or do in Windows Media Player. So I'm also learning, of course. Even yeah, being little a by little. <laughs> yes, every day Good, I'm pleased new. to hear that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, uh, I love so Photopit, but uh, Animoto is maybe more interesting because you can share a video and uh, photos, but on Photopitch only vid on low photos. Okay, I don't know that one. Uh, maybe okay. they will not introduce. Maybe they will. I don't know what they actually do. So, but it's c great that you are actually having fun. Well, I am now, <laughs> starting <laughs> to. Now I can hear you and talk to you. <laughs> it's yes. taken a week. <laughs> of course, yeah. uh, some people. Uh, it took me last year three weeks to start a blog, <laughs> and they all have already done that, like uh, in week two. And I was like the the last one who have st done a blog in week four. And now look at me. I'm a moderating in Bo 2012. <laughs> so well, you just great. have to, yeah. So everything is, is uh, choose choose your own pace and do as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've decided. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dylan so says I'm not going to give you my link, though. 
Okay, so maybe next weekend if uh, Jeff opens a new hangout. <laughs> oh, yes. Hala, are you still with us? And I also want to say hello to Inma, oh, who's in the chat room at webheadsinaction.org. And if you're having any problems joining the hangout, let us know. We can troubleshoot. So Google Hangout uh, just added a feature uh, that was in the Hangouts with Extra, which is really nice, especially if you're doing some kind of uh, workshop or online learning, you can screen share. So if you want to share an application oh, yes. or a particular Hello. window. Hello? Hello, we can Hello? hear you. We hear you. Oh, hi. hey, finally, how are you? Hey. Hi. This is my first hangout ever. Me too. So I will never forget this. How are you, Jeff? Great. Nice to see you again. Happy EVO. Yeah, happy EVO. And we are so happy to have you everywhere. And everyone is happy to have you. <laughs> and I'm, so I'm always happy for EVO. I mean, for a guy who <laughs> likes to do this kind of, you know, global connections and conversations. I couldn't ask for yeah, a better Yeah, and you're always happy space. with any podcasting, I think. Yes, any excuse to webcast. And yeah. thank you all for coming because I was starting to get scared that I'd be lonely and just have to play music by myself. Yeah, what happened to the music? <laughs> maybe, Cut maybe. Off. Oh, that, and so, Jeff, that would be having your own radio uh, show, uh, as, as some of the colleagues suggested that on Facebook, like Sandra. <laughs> well, you know, I... I um, do, you ha do you have your uh, radio show? I did I host a radio show that. here, actually, a traditional radio really? show. Uh, what was it? Um, um, Let's Talk Pusan. Uh, so I hosted that for about a year. And, you know, when I first started doing this in 2005, uh, I, I acted a little bit more like a DJ. Um, and I remember my very first time doing this, I announced, okay, I'm going to webcast. And, you know, this was before there was much podcasting or anything. And so I made all the announcements and I started streaming and no one came. And so I just kept playing the song, One is the Loneliest Number, over and over again. It was very sad. <laughs> well, things have got better. Yes. <laughs> There's four of us now. <laughs> So do we get Have to we see your video, Hello Catherine? Again? No, not uh, yet. No? Oh, am, I, am I supposed to be sending this to you? Oh, dear. You can turn your webcam on and just wave a quick hello. Uh, uh, I have a question, Jeff, for you. and co It concerns um, the photo. Uh, Hala has a photo. Uh, Hala, do you have a video camera? So I think I, I saw I her mention in the chat screen. that video is blocked at her school. Uh-huh. Yes. That's uh, why no, I, actually, Mariana, because when I tested this, I uh, found that uh, we are on a proxy server and they don't allow any kind of uh, video casting from here. Mm -hmm. I'm at work. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that's why we heard some noises. Uh, are you in the office now? Or, hello? Yeah, I'm in my tiny little office now. Cor correcting the exams, if I, uh, if I don't mistake, huh? Uh, you're still correct. Exactly. <laughs> so you have your neurons working. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Even though I haven't had much sleep, my son had his sixth birthday yesterday, and uh, it was very fun. You know, I've uploaded some pictures to Yahoo. I don't know if you have checked them. Oh, can we see a he link? He was so excited. Uh, no, well, actually, I only shared them for, as you say, Yahoo group is closed. That oh, one okay. for. Um, uh, but I'm going to share them differently with you. Wait. <laughs> Okay, I have just one question for Jeff. I have watched uh, a hangout before with uh, Vance, you and Vance, uh, um, who else? Who had that pancake? Someone there had pancake that day. She was <laughs> eating and her husband was there. Who was that? Um, oh, maybe Kate or... Uh, no, not Kate. Or um, uh, it wasn't Nellie, was it? No, uh, she has a C in her name. Anyway, how can you, my question is, how can you uh, r uh, move those windows, video windows? Um, is it you who do that or someone else? Um, maybe I can show you in this um, 
Hang on, it's what I'm going to do is share my screen. This is a program called ManyCam. And so what this lets me do is capture a certain portion of my screen or a certain application. So whatever I put into that window is what will be shown on the stream. So if I move uh, um, this computer tab there, then that's what gets shown. Um, so it's a, a program called ManyCam. I don't know if that answered your question. Oh, got Catherine's photos. Oh no. You gonna share those now? Uh is it okay if I do? Yeah. It's only ten seconds. Oh Animoto, I love Animoto. Great. It's not long though. It's just a it's just a test. Mm hmm love this uh, team that you have chosen. Um, Jeff, I only see it in a very small, um, I don't see it uh, uh, across the whole screen, only uh, on your... Um, oh, because I have to talk in order for it to jump up. If you click on me, the little thumbnail, okay. it will get big. Okay, I have done that. Great. And we haven't got the sound either. Uh, no, because... Did you have the sound there? No, because right now the audio that's going into the Hangout for me is from this microphone. It's not from oh, yeah. the system. Uh, Ketri, okay. was this yeah. your first Animoto ever? It was. Great. So you just explore it. You can edit always the changes. You can change the title. It says untitled project so far, but you can have all these editing even later. Uh, clean and uh, uh, clear the photos, add the photos, whatever uh, whatever you want. It's it's excellent. Thank you. For yeah, sharing. yeah, no, I saw that. I haven't had time to do it yet, but I, I do uh, intend yeah. to do longer ones with my students soon. So I'll have to get used to that. W what do you teach, Catherine, yeah. and where? I teach um, English. <laughs> to what level? <laughs> to, um, uh, to lots of different groups, um, students at uh, engineering schools, to retired people, to students in secondary schools, all types of uh, teaching, business people. Okay, so uh, I'm sharing on my Google Plus now the photos, so I hope you can see my son's birthday, <laughs> only three photos. <laughs> um, not yet, because your video isn't on. Uh, uh, no, no, oh. no. No, no, no. I've, I've shared them on my wall on uh, Google+. Plus. I don't know if I oh, can... Oh, okay. Okay, I will stop talking and I can... Sh uh, oh, I see. I see uh, them explore, now. Sh okay, let me uh, just close. Um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Switch off my mic, sorry. And I'm going... Okay, so she's switching off her... Hello, Mariana. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah, now we've got it. So she's only got this, this sound or the picture? Unfortunately, as soon as she turns her video on, the audio gets okay. really choppy. Oh, that's why you've turned it off. Okay. And so when you click screen share, you'll get an option of like which window or which application you want to share. Right. Hey, there we go. Okay, great. Wow, those look like very exciting candles. That's some serious pyrotechnics. Those look like the cake. <laughs> Great cake. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm. St I think my connections are slower. This was my first screen sharing o over uh, uh, Google Hangout. I still don't know what have I done wrong. But thank you. No, yes, excellent pyrotext techniques. <laughs> 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 oh, he was so excited. Uh, six candles. It but was those Claire, the... Jeff. Uh, what? Ah, Claire. She's remembering who had the pancakes in the Hangout 
a long time ago. <laughs> oh, oh, great, Hala. <laughs> oh, good. Next time we'll make pancakes for the next Sunday. <laughs> Are there any special birthday traditions in Croatia? Uh, no, not not so much. We this was like a family reunion only uh, because he still doesn't go to school and doesn't have so many friends to ask uh, to come to join. But my parents and uh, uh, cousins and everybody came and uh, no, not a special lunch or cake. And we sing a song typical for everybody in, in any language. And uh, they were like uh, uh, doing all kinds of uh, games uh, and uh, uh, doing the Lego, Lego, Lego. How do you call them? Le Lego. Uh, Legos. Uh, Lego. Yes, Legos. And we, they were playing V a lot and um, jumping all around the house and playing Star Wars also. So it was like very, very until 11 p.m. in the evening. Then, then the last guest left and he finally said, "Okay, I'm tired now." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I can now go on the line. <laughs> I'm so happy Legos are still popular you know with all yeah, these technologies so. lego still work although they're a lot more complex than they used to be i mean i remember just building these high towers and that was it now you get these star wars yeah, uh, some great things the star things. wars yes, battleships my are great sons love them yes my sons love them. especially the older one he's eight this one uh, who had the birthday yesterday he's six but the older one he can do wonders and he he even helped him last uh, night with creating some kind of a ship he got a ship a Le lego ship to build and they were starting building that and i told them okay it's midnight i think you will finish that maybe tomorrow <laughs> but no they want to finish it last night but we finally get them to bed so it was like okay so now a, a, a laptop time for me and they are in bed and I'm still tired because I went to sleep around 2 a.m. in the morning. Hey. And I do see we have a few people listening at uh, webheadsinaction.org. I just put the hangout link in again. If anyone's having trouble joining in. Uh, hey, it's the birthday boy. Yeah. Happy birthday. Now, can he hear us? Is there... I don't know if the headset is on. What is his name? Hello, I'm Dongo. Hello, I'm Dongo. I'm Dongo. Hi, I'm Dongo. Hello, very <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, he likes to speak in English, even though there are not still proper English words. But uh, he, he, whenever he plays computer on, especially some game that's in English, he speaks in English while playing it. So it's very funny. I, I think I'm going to video him once. Oh, that's great! That's great. What video games is he playing? Oh, uh, all kinds of, all kinds <laughs> of, online, offline. I don't know. They like Spider-Man and uh, whatever. Uh, I really don't know. I, I can't follow all those games. They have their father who follow all the games. So, uh, but mostly they love Spider-Man, some kind of. And um, online, he likes to do a lot of games online and building blocks and memory games. So I, I sometimes want him to play more education, educate, ed educative uh, games. But uh, it's great that actually he learns a lot of uh, language through it and. Um, that's why maybe Graham Stanley's uh, um, Evo, uh, Evo's session is excellent. He talks about gamification, so about how kids can learn language and how we can use games for teaching maybe the language and everything. So it's fun. I can't. Uh, I, it's, I'm very amazed how my kids uh, learned English uh, by just playing games or watching uh, cartoons uh, in English. So it's very interesting. Yeah, and Hala's son is killing people all over the world. Yeah, oh, yeah, Counter-Strike. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, educational. I have, like, just cause. Just cause some kind of one, two, three, whatever. Uh, and uh, who knows? Mariana, I I uh, uh, at least they are, they are practicing educational killing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Sorry, repeat this, please. Educational oh. killing. At least, at least we killing. are around. That means definitely the killing is very educational. <laughs> yes, probably. I uh, see Dylan join us again, but I can't see her in the uh, as, uh, her video. Welcome back, Dillian. Can you hear us? Can you say anything?
silence. <clears throat> I've been trying to get my picture to come through. I can't get it work to work. Hmm. Um, the camera's on. It, the little light is on? You know, it might just take a little while. Sometimes it takes a little while to kick in, and we do see your yeah. silhouette. That's not my. That's not me. <laughs> okay, that's you, Catherine. No, right? Yes, that's. Yes. Um, no, yeah, that's me, but it's not my silhouette. Um, no, that's okay. that's not your. <laughs> um, which camera do you have? You are you on your your laptop? No, I'm on my. Computer, normal, big computer. <laughs> and your little computer webcam little light is on? Uh, I can't see it, that's the thing. I'm trying to get it to work. Uh, when in doubt, keep clicking things. Sometimes this... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm. It works okay when I'm on scra Skype. Um, and you clicked on your Hangout settings and selected the webcam? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, hang on. Oh, welcome back, Mariana. I'll be interested to see if you can screen share, Hala. Um, you do need to click twice. You have to click screen share and then share selected window. Oh, we lost Mariana. <laughs> so um, I was looking at a screen share, Jeff. Sorry, it's Catherine here again. So I click on the screen share. I've clicked on it and I've got three things. How do I click one of how them? How do I? Oh, Hala, we see your screen share. Click one of them oh, and yeah. then share selected screen. I see your music covery, Hala. Hang on, wait a minute. But I mean, how do I get it onto my screens to click on one? Oh yeah, look at that. That's great. That's fun, Hala. Very artistic. So, do I have to open my screen first? I mean, um, when you click I have screen to have share, my screen, you have your three yeah. options. One is like desktop. Right. One is probably your browser, and maybe the Hangout window. Choose one okay. of those, probably so the browser, and then share yeah. selected screen. Okay. okay. Yep, we got it. Yeah, but this is you. Yes, we're looking in the mirror. You got it? Yes, we see the Hangout. You've got it, but I haven't. That's normal? Uh, okay, so how do I you turn should that see off it. now? Um, you oh, already yeah, did. there you go. Okay, oh, it takes time. They have to wait. I saw it first. And then how do I turn it off? I just come out of it? And uh, click screen share okay. again. It's off now? Uh, yeah, all we see is yeah. blackness. Has it gone off now for you? Yes. Okay, great. Well, we do not hear your music, Hala. <laughs> yeah, the screen share worked really well. I taught an online call course last uh, semester, and it was small enough. There were less than 10 students, and so we would use this. We'd hang out, and I would do whatever presentation or instruction, and then we'd kind of do a group show and tell of what people have been working on. And if the connection okay. is good enough, you really can get pretty good high quality screen sharing. Welcome back, yeah, Mariana. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks good. It's interesting. Uh, uh, you know, you sounded okay there. Why don't we try it? Maybe the internet weather has cleared up. I, s I was trying to, uh, I, I logged, uh, I actually I closed the Google Hangout and then I wanted to come again and I couldn't see your video or hear you at all and uh, I only could see chat and I was chatting with Hala, thank you Hala, and I suppose Dillian can see it like this. So what I did is to, I logged off, uh, log out uh, Google uh, Plus uh, totally and then came again and everything was working now fine, hmm. so I don't know. 
but I'm still my Gmail is still on, so I I, I don't know why why it didn't work before. Uh, uh, there was one more thing. Uh, while I was entering the Google Hangout, it told me that it was waiting for some plugins for Google Talk hmm. uh, to be installed, and I was I just clicked on OK, like, and that was it. And then I uh, I don't know I was waiting for that to be probably. Uh, installed or whatever, so I'm not quite sure. It's in Croatian, so I ha need to translate to myself or to you actually what I think I have seen. Maybe Dilian should um, do this the same. Maybe she should log off. Jim, I don't know. And hello to Nora in Colombia. And Hala, you're right. There are three black screens and Jeff. And I'm tired of being the only video guy. Although, you know, have you noticed this feature? Uh, you can, oh, really? Great. You know. Oh, yes. Great one. So if I'm going to be the only video, I should try to make it a little. I like that. <laughs> and congratulations, Jeff, for having two or three white hairs. <laughs> two or three. How kind hairs. of you. Hairs. Plural of her. <laughs> I've earned every one. Yeah, it's I just can't get Gray's definitely coming in. Work. Oh, Mariana video. Hello, hello. Try talking too. Maybe maybe it'll work. No, I don't want to talk. I only want to share a video about him. So sad. Such a, such a new media talent. And we can't get the audio and video going together. At least she's got a picture working. Not like some of us. Hmm. So, have you seen the webcam light go on yet? No, not yet, no. Huh. Uh, Catherine, uh, this is uh, yeah. what happened to me once when I was in live uh, meeting, Microsoft live meeting room. And uh, I have chosen a wrong camera, actually. And I, I have several options. I don't know what did I choose. I should choose my laptop uh, camera, but I have chosen some, something else uh, that was offered to me. And then when I had to have a webinar online, my video wasn't showing. And I was like, okay, I want, I don't, so maybe you should see what, what do you, the, the, the true name, the real name of your camera. Uh, or then, then it will start. Or I really don't know because I'm not such a techie guy. One other <laughs> possibility, okay, okay. and I'll screen share this. Um, yes, great. Uh, sometimes when you do the settings in the Google Hangout, it doesn't stick. And what you'll need to do is go to your Gmail and go find chat and click on the little arrow next to it and click chat settings. And then okay. change the settings Setting. there and save them. And sometimes that will take effect. Good. Great. Good to know that. Okay. So I've come into the settings and it, it says no devices found. Great. Ah. <laughs> no, it's obviously me. I obviously have. Oh. No Catherine found. We lost Catherine. Good luck, Nora. Hopefully she's heading in. Hala, are you still there? Hala? I think she just left us. <laughs> but sh it says Catherine. Oh, Catherine has joined us again. And Dillian is here as well, oh. I think. Hello, Catherine. Back. Welcome back. <laughs> you told me to zap around. I did. Keep yeah, that's, that's what you got to do. <laughs> if you're not breaking something, you're not trying hard enough. I oh, know, I know. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Come on. Uh, it's still morning, yes. It will be like 5 to noon here in Croatia. Five minutes. Well, it is and here it's as, well, as well. But it's I morning. know, I'm calling that morning. 
<laughs> according to the uh, according to the time zones and everything, it's still morning, and you say good morning until noon. <laughs> exactly, I, I think and I haven't started cooking lunch. Uh, so no, no, yeah. nothing with camera still. Uh, no, it's probably a good thing. It's probably. And so you think we, we, we don't today. need to see you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just tired of looking at myself. Um, well, <laughs> okay, I will stop speaking and I will share my camera with me because Hala says I look gorgeous and uh, thank you Hala because <laughs> I only had four hours of sleep. <laughs> <sighs> so uh, after this hangout, we're going to head into Second Life for a Machine EVO session. Uh, have you all played with Second Life at all? Nope. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's, it's got potential. It's got a lot of barriers to entry. Um, I know uh, Ayat, one of our colleagues in Bo 2012. She has a Second Life uh, uh, account uh, ID, uh, but I have never been there. Uh, I have seen people doing a lot, and Heike was very enthusiastic uh, about showing us in EVO kickoff uh, last Sunday about everything and uh, I loved it but I still can't find myself doing it. It's, it reminds me of The Sims. My, my children are playing uh, Sims <laughs> also as well on PlayStation uh, 2 and uh, it's, it looks very interesting and, I'm, and it's, it's funny how people can have conferences there as well and they can uh, change their um, avatar and uh, do, do great stuff and have their own houses. It's very interesting and funny. <laughs> at the same time and you have like uh, meetings and everything yeah I mean I, I think it does have a lot of you know language learning role-playing possibilities but for some reason Second Life never quite gained that much traction I, I think The Sims I think things like Minecraft uh, I was talking to a 15 year old kid here recently and I was like have you ever heard of Second Life he's like no but I, I love Minecraft and you know sometimes different programs for whatever reasons attract people's attention and and I have a feeling Second Life's not going to be the one that survives. That survives. How long does Second Life actually exist? Because um, I wasn't around online so far, only like for the past year and I've noticed that Second Life, SL, SL, everybody was mentioning and I didn't know what actually that was. It kind of started in 2006 and then like 2007 and 8 there was a lot of buzz and a lot of companies went in there and they thought this was the next big thing and then in 2009 people just started leaving mm. yes uh, well i'm really not into it very much and i've stopped playing farmville on facebook as well <laughs> uh, and i don't have time for games anymore my my colleagues who have started using facebook recently just recently and i was uh, on facebook for the last uh, four years uh, they have been sending me those uh, uh, please join my oh sorry more, more pyrotechnics? Off. <laughs> ah, you, someone brought That's you more work, Hala. So, Catherine, I'm going to guess that you are not originally from France? No, I'm not. No, I'm English. How long have you been in France? Oh, far too long. 20, 25 years? Because wow. I'm not actually Korean either. Ah, uh -huh. no, where are you from? Uh, States, guess. United States. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed. So you're in Korea then? You I know, am in I, Korea. I, I guess, I, uh, sorry. Oh no, hello, hello. Because this is this is very obvious. Your accent is completely different from hers. Yours is American and hers is British. And I love British yeah. accent, by the way. Everybody loves British. Oh, accents. thank you, Hala. I've got. I've got Mine a is point not there British. Sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry, I had a little emergency in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we thought your yeah, spaceship had arrived. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is when when I try to do multitasking, and it sometimes doesn't uh, work. <laughs> sorry. Was that lunch? Did lunch explode? She's gone. <laughs> yeah, my students, you know, and there's a lot of advantages to British English. When I teach a pronunciation course, Americans love our R's. 
And it's such a pain mm. for, for students, for most non-native speakers to learn the R's. Uh, so to I, learn the R's, yeah. yeah. So I tell yeah. them, okay, you have a nice Well, that's why English is easier. Yeah, I don't have the R's, so that's okay. <laughs> I cheat. Uh, well, I, uh, Hal always says that I have a ac great accent. I don't find it so interesting. It's like Croatian English, not uh, a British one, even though I try to have it like this. But mostly we teach British accent, uh, to British English in schools, even though I don't uh, actually care whether students are speaking British or American English in classes or uh, some RP mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever, standard-like English. And, um, and I don't think that's important, as long as we all understand each other. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're correct, Mariana. Actually, I love your accent, and uh, I, I don't see anything in that. I love uh, listening to different accents. And as uh, David Crystal uh, writes uh, somewhere, that the most important thing is the mutual intelligibility. So we have Sudanese accent, um, Chinese accent, Jeff's accent, so no problem with that. <laughs> yes. Uh, inter interesting is that uh, I have read somewhere you, uh, recently, like a few months ago, uh, what is the most, uh, the best looking or the best sound accent in the world. And people were voting Spanish English, Spanish accent, Spanish English. So it's interesting. It's very funny for me to, to have read this. And I don't think American was very uh, up in the, uh, <laughs> or, or British uh, near. So people probably like to <laughs> hear English. Was, so that, was that a Spanish vote that was made? Uh, no, pro no. I have. I don't know where, where actually I read that. Maybe who knows? <laughs> but I don't. I think uh, uh, people from uh, uh, Uruguay, uh, actually the students from Uruguay that have been interviewing me, um, they had problems with pronunciation, and their teacher told me that actually uh, they are glad that I could understand them, and that's the main problem for them: the pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that is usually yeah. in all the countries, but in Croatia they tend to pronounce very well. And uh, but I think I still think that we don't teach them pronunciation very well in classes. We and uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm doing on that. We have been talking about this in our school a lot about working on pronunciation, maybe even better. So who knows? See, uh, I think for I'm any kind yeah, of I do a lot of work on that. Hmm. Yes, yeah, sorry, Jeff. No, I, I let, I'd like Catherine to continue. If she does a lot of work on that, she probably has much better well, things to say. Well, no, 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 but I do, more and more I do uh, story reading in class, even taking in children's nursery rhymes and things, even, if, you know, whatever age the students are, getting them to sing and, and practice word stress and sentence. so much has got to be done for them to realize that English, you know, is so musical. You know, it's hard for the students to pick that up alone. But reading, reading out stories to each other, it's a great, great exercise. Yeah, I agree. Like uh, tapping into to musical literacies, I think count. You know, they, they help because I, it's about hearing the different rhythm of the music yeah. and, and stepping out of your like. And that's why I think role playing works well, also, uh, yeah. just to break the normal patterns of what your your mouth does. And I'm all for any kind of simplification of English pronunciation or, or grammar structure or anything. It's just such a, a terrible, terrible language. Uh, in terms of, of everything, <laughs> spelling and yeah, but it, so many but it's so much fun though. It can be so much fun. But you I know, would love the kids, to see we get them reading out plays and Monty Python and things like they love it. I'd love to see a simplified, universal or international version of English, where it's okay to say I go store yesterday. You know, in terms of meaning, I there's nothing lost, uh, and then you can have regional variations and complexity of grammar, but I'm all for I go store yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I mean, that's the way it's going, isn't it? Anyway. And I see Carla Arena may be on her way into the Hangout. Ooh. Uh, before I leave you, I just want to ask you, Jeff, uh, are the students in Korea uh, shy, like uh, in speaking? Definitely. Well, there's a generational component as well. Um, the current generation in school has grown up with a lot more access to foreigners. 
uh, not mm -hmm. just native speakers, but foreigners. And so there's a lot less anxiety about speaking the language. There has been more focus on communicative skills, but still, once they get to high school, it is all about the exam. And I, I teach teachers, I do teacher training, and the high school level teachers like, well, we really don't do much speaking or, or listening because it's all about the test. Uh, and this mm -hmm. test is mostly grammar based, although that's changing. They're introducing a new uh, English standardized test uh, in 2014 that is going to include those things. And so all of a sudden they're needing to um, include that in the curriculum. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, well, now when Dillian also join us again, but she's in chat only. Um, when I was in England, yeah, I had, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry, please. No, please. No, no, Catherine, please say uh, what you wanted to say. I wanted uh, to yeah, I have, share something. Yeah, I was just coming back to, I have um, several Vietnamese, well, quite a few Vietnamese students coming in to the French schools here, um, universities, classes, and really hard to communicate with them. You know, it's, it's such a different accent. They have so many problems. I was doing online teaching in Vietnam, and Vietnamese accents, I think, are or I should say Vietnamese and English, I think, are just as different as languages get. Whenever I try to say something in mm -hmm. Vietnamese, I don't come close. Uh, even students' names or mm -hmm. whatever. It's just the mouth is doing such yeah. different things. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so I feel really, you know, I can't teach them, you know. It's, I feel I'm letting them down because I don't know where to start. But I, boy, they had really strong writing skills compared to other uh, non-native speakers yeah. I had, I had Oh, taught. yeah, definitely. I mean, Hala, yeah, I yeah, teach, yeah, good knowledge. I teach, it's a six-month program. These are secondary and elementary school teachers here in Korea, usually in their 30s or 40s, uh, and there's usually t about 12 in each group, and we'll get four or five groups each semester. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher training. Uh, yes, uh, you were mentioning grammar. In When I was a student in school, they were mostly teaching us grammar and reading. No, uh, there, was, there wasn't so much sp training speaking, and uh, that's why I think students are also very shy. They don't want to speak, but now they are more open. They have internet and everything. And um, uh, when I was in England, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, uh, I went to a teacher training program as a student. And uh, I knew grammar better than the English colleagues, so I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, that's normal. We know that you know grammar very well. And, but this is what they have been teaching us for exams. And you have to know conditional third and second and everything. Well, that's all important, but you have to practice it also in, in speech and in real life. And uh, this is what I'm trying to do with my students for the last year. And I think they have been starting more encouraged and enthusiastic. Even though, as you say, Jeff, they make mistakes um, in speaking. I go. Uh, store yesterday. It doesn't matter. I understand what you wanted to say, but uh, I, I, I asked them, what did you, what, how can you say differently? Did you notice any mistake? Or maybe I asked them in general in class, uh, what would, um, what is the mistake? I don't want to uh, correct them uh, during their speak, especially when they are speaking about anything. And I do mistakes now as well when I speak to you. So uh, that's like uh, I, we shouldn't like stop them. And otherwise, they are going to block totally and speak not speak at all. And my experience is that Europeans and South Americans, I don't know about Africans, tend to be much more open to making mistakes and just communicating with the language, whereas Asians tend to be a little bit more perfectionist and cautious to say anything that's not going to be correct. Mm. Yeah, the fear of making the error in front of the others. Yes, 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 especially when they are afraid that the friends or the colleagues in class will laugh them or anything. Uh, that's mostly the bi the biggest problem. The biggest problem that they say, that's why they don't want to speak. And and, and I have started these Skype interviews with colleagues or colleagues all around the world. Hala will be our next ge guest. Isn't that right, Hala? And um, they are interviewing them and um, asking about all kinds of things and culture and just practicing uh, language in their real world, like uh, uh, not using Croatian at all, because they cannot use Croatian. They want to speak Croatian in English class, and I tell them, okay, so that's not possible. And uh, we try, okay, if they don't know, I help, but uh, mostly they should try and explain in simple English words how 
they want to use something else. Or, so we it just practice, 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 and uh, nothing else. If you don't speak, you will not know the language. This is what I tell them. You, you mentioned the connection with Hala. Have you all done much connecting with students or classes elsewhere in different countries? Um, well, I did. I have uh, a pen pal project uh, from, with a colleague from Uruguay. Last year we met at Bo 2011 and we had a pen pal project between our students, which is still going on. And then I had the idea that we should have interviews. But since the, there was a five hour difference in GMT, uh, di five hour difference, and they were going to school uh, in afternoon and my students would be at home at that time, we couldn't do that. So I suggested that we should interview, they should interview us. So her students interviewed me several times and mine her and that was a great experience they uh, wrote an article and Hal even given me some great ideas for future and uh, uh, they they are they, when I tell them that we are going to use more technology and uh, uh, they they uh, embrace it they love that that's something new for them that's interesting that's it's so that's much more interesting can, than open your books yes. to chapter five yes yes definitely definitely <laughs> Uh, Hala is writing something. Hey, she'd like to tell us about another one. Please do. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, this is because I just need to put the link here on the chat, Elia, about one of the projects that we have done with Busaina. Um, um, Sudan was included, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Dubai, Japan, Kuwait, Portugal, Sol Slovenia, uh, Ukraine, and Venezuela. So um, this is my students' project, What Makes Sudan a Unique Country, and it was just amazing. Um, all the students communicated with each other and uh, they shared uh, different cultures, and it worked. You can see the feedback here. Yes, that's the link you shared with me, isn't that right, Hala? Hala? Yeah, it's the same. Yes, and uh, it uh, it really helped me. The students have been sending me uh, questions uh, for you via our Facebook group. Uh, I have a secret Facebook group with them, and even though we are still on on our holidays, most of them most of them have been working a lot, and uh, I love them doing sharing some blogsters they have done during holidays or something like that. So another interesting way of using technology with students. Um, before I leave, uh, Jeff, uh, I just have one uh, more question. How do you save this chat chat uh, area? Uh, there is no automatic uh, chat archiving with this. So you have to click in there, do a control A and a control C, and then paste it somewhere. Uh, saving with Lotec. Okay. Yes. Thank you. The old fashioned way. And in fact, I should, I always forget to save it before I close the Hangout. So I should. Uh, Oh, control A doesn't work. I actually okay. have to scroll and highlight uh, everything. Thank you very much. I have to go now. Thanks uh, so much for joining, Hala. Very nice. Thank you very much. Bye. I really enjoyed this. Uh, bye. Look forward bye. to hanging out again soon. Continue. Yeah, looking so, forward to many hangouts in the future. So I'm going to leave as well. I have to finish my lunch. I'll lunch until something else happens in my kitchen again. <laughs> so. Um, uh, have a nice uh, uh, Sunday. Even though Jeff is over with his Sunday, he will start Monday very soon. <laughs> What's the time in Korea? <laughs> uh, just past 8 p.m. Yes. So, so four more uh, hours and then you're off to bed probably. Or you are still having uh, um, uh, we, some other... We've got uh, three more hours of streaming. After Second Life, we're doing a Pecha Flicker. Uh, do you know what that is? It's a, uh, do you know Pecha Kucha? It's uh, a... Yes. Um, Five-minute presentation seven minute. Mm -hmm. where you have 20 slides and you have 20 seconds per slide. This is using Flickr. You put in a tag, Croatia or whatever, you get 20 random photos from Flickr with that tag, and you have to make it up on the spot. So Scott Lockman's going to oh, host great. that from Japan. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come in later on. I'll try and fix up my...
Uh, yes, so so Pe Pecha Chuka is after uh, Second Life, I suppose, yes? Yes, that is going to be at okay. 1400 GMT. Okay, so uh, the, to finish lunch and to give everybody something to eat, and maybe join you later uh, at that time. Okay. But I yeah. want to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want to eat? Yeah, he was. He says, "Mom, mom, I want to eat something." <laughs> so better off I go. Off I go. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Um, and okay, so I'll leave you then, Jeff, and I'll oh. try and sort out my camera problems. Okay, you, you're welcome to stick around. Well, I, I've got to go and make lunch as okay. well. And well. no, but I'll come back in later on. Okay, great. Great to meet you. Okay. Hope to All see right, you later. have fun. See you later. All right, bye. Bye.